obviously I can only talk to the FBI from when I was there, right? I, I can't speak to it right now. But all I can say is that when we were there, I did not feel that it was taken seriously. Um, and why I feel that way is because, again, see, I don't want to upset men. I feel like sometimes it's the gender narrative. I think some people had, some men, have gotten into the FBI to be on the SWAT team, be on the hostage rescue team, take down gangs. Um, and that's great. We need people to do that, absolutely. But they looked at being, you know, on the domestic terrorism squad or the cyber squad or even the intelligence squad as being lesser than. Um, and I think that needs to change. Um, that mentality needs to change um, because if your whole heart kind of isn't in it, you're not going to do a good job. And I think that's a huge problem. Um, and I think more money needs to be allocated to it as well. And I think it needs to be a prosecutable crime. I think that's probably where some people disagree with me on that, but that's just my opinion. Um, from the out, sort of outside international, um, I feel like a really big problem are failed states. Um, and the reason I think that that's a big problem is simply because failed states breed terrorists. I mean, it's a breeding ground, right? Fail safe. Even if you look at Iraq, so I'm just saying it's a really bad person. I'm not saying he shouldn't have been taken out, but you know, dictators don't be tend to be conducive, right, to terrorist groups forming. They love instability. Um, and right now, Libya has, you know, instability. Even South Sudan is, is having some instability right now. Somalia, Yemen. I mean, we we know all these different countries, right, are unstable. And if you look at those countries, I would guess, obviously, they don't have access to classified information anymore. But I would guess that we're seeing an uptick um, of terrorist activity. So that's two. I'm sorry. Thank you.